Let's get her ready to rumble. <laughs> What's up, nail crew? I'm putting two e-file bits to the test today <laughs> in a battle, hence my f silly opening, of which one is going to e-file off dip faster and more efficiently. The two bits that I'm putting to the test are the Panna coarse bit and then the Panna 3X coarse bit. So the one on the left that looks like less toothy and scary looking is the Panna coarse bit and the one that I'm just putting into my e-file now is the Panna 3X coarse bit. So this is the one I've been typically using anytime I file off builder gel or dip powder, the 3X coarse. And I thought, you know what? I need to see how a just regular coarse drill bit does against a 3X coarse. Is it going to e-file my dip off faster or is it gonna e-file my dip off slower? I decided to test one bit per finger. So I'm doing the 3X coarse bit on my middle finger and then I'll do the coarse bit on my ring finger. And as you can see, the 3X coarse bit, like I've used before, it's still taking off my dip powder and it's doing it really well. My dip powder is coming off without any issues. It's not crazy fast because I don't try to take it off super fast. I like to be really careful. That's why I use safety bits when I remove dip powder or builder gel, but it's taking it off really, really nicely. And then I'm going to jump to the coarse bit. And full disclosure, I'm just going to jump right in and say it. You guys will be able to see here in a sec. Look how fast the coarse bit is taking off the dip powder. I like to start like towards the middle to get most of the bulk out and then go around the sides, like debulk down the dip powder down the sides. The coarse bit is taking it off so much faster than I expected. It probably took it off in close to half the time as the 3X course bit. And I will be honest, I was super shocked. I did not expect this to happen whatsoever. I really thought like my 3X bit, the Panna 3X bit was totally gonna win. It has like way deeper teeth. It's gonna grind through that dip powder so much faster. I quickly wiped off my nails with isopropyl alcohol on a lint-free wipe just to see how nice and close I got to the builder gel and if the builder gel underneath was smooth from after I removed the dip. And then I thought I'm gonna take that coarse bit and I'm gonna remove all my dip, my right hand with the coarse bit and see is it really as good as it seemed on my one finger? And let me tell you, it is still removing it super fast. So we have a clear winner. The Panna Coarse Bit is the bit you need to remove that dip powder. Drop a comment below if this battle of the bits helped you figure out what nail tool you need next. And check out the full tutorial on how to remove dip powder. Thanks for joining me today, Nail Crew.